think yeah. like an obvious thing. <clears throat> so yeah, which Zelda games have you actually played to completion? Uh, none to completion. Really, none. You've never finished the it off. only games I've got the very first Legend of Zelda on uh, 3DS. So it was one of the ones they released along with the original Pokemon games and what have you. Yep. Um, I played Ocarina because anyone who's played Zelda has played Ocarina. Yeah, I remember that was the first time I ever played Ocarina was around your place. Mm. You guys had it. Um, it took me forever to get never, to Majora. Never played Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is way better than Ocarina. Um, in my opinion. I played... Which ones do you have on the SNES? That was Link to the Past. Link to the Past. I played that little bit uh, around your place. Uh, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons, I think I borrowed whichever one you had yeah, both. from you. Oh, so I, I definitely borrowed one from you. Yeah. Um, I think I had one of the ones that was on the Game Boy Advance. Did they make a Zelda game for the Game Boy Advance? Yeah, they made Minish Cap um, and Four Swords Adventures. Might have been Four Swords. Okay, I'm going to have to go into the options. <laughs> just do this uh, button configuration um, circle ah I did that again it shouldn't be that wait Sir yeah action maybe it would either be circle or square yeah and circle it is we gotta get through there that's not precarious at all Ooh. Oh shit! Oh hello. Ah, oh, there we are. We're on the other side of the courtyard. Yep. Right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, like, not that we should particularly be talking business while recording, but I was going to suggest perhaps doing a Zelda or two at some point in the future. Absolutely. Because I love the Zelda franchise. Like, they are fantastic. For the most part, they are fantastic games. And at least all the ones I've played have been great. Uh, I haven't played two. Um, and I haven't played a Zeta Spirit Tracks or that other one that was on the DS. Nor have I played Minish Cap or Four Swords Adventures. But I have... The ones I've beaten are... The first, the Z Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, um... Ocarina of Time, the Oracle Games, Link's Awakening. Uh, I haven't finished Majora's Mask, although I do have it on the 3DS and you're welcome to borrow it at some point. Because it's, as I said, I, I personally, despite the fact that I haven't finished Majora's Mask, I do think it's way better than Oracle, of, not Oracle, um, Ocarina. Because it just sort of takes what's good about Ocarina and makes it better, in my opinion. Um, or at least for the most part. Uh, combat's still a bit uh, iffy, but you know it's not so much about the combat this time around. It's more of the amazing sort of side stories and stuff. Um, I did. I I do have um, have finished Wind Waker. Oh yeah, that's that got a Wii re uh, remake, didn't it? Yeah, Wind, Wind Waker was re-released on the Wii and then re-released on the Wii U. <laughs> um, in the box thing isn't going to be important and I feel kind of nervous having left her alone for so long uh, it's the um, fuck. it's the far left what's the far left it's where you push the box to far left corner I'm not sure there's a way around oh yeah I can get through that um, I didn't finish Twilight Princess because I had it for the Wii so the one where you're a werewolf yeah, yeah. I had it for the Wii because uh, I didn't get the GameCube version. And uh, then it went missing when I was like halfway through it. Yeah, that's so sucks. I was unable to finish it, which is why I pre pretty much the entire reason why I pre pre ordered the Wii U re release. Yeah. Which I still haven't touched. Although my Wolf Link amiibo is on the side there. Yes, I, yes I've seen it. It's very cool. Yes, it is very cute. Look at this kind of cute too. <laughs> kind of I don't know. Who's, is, who's that? That's Midna. I'd. That she's, explains nothing. She's sort of your helper. I don't really know everything about her yet. Obviously, I haven't oh. finished it. But, um, maybe we'll play that one. Maybe. Um, 
Maybe. Isn't Skyward... I, I was reading somewhere. I bought my um, brother Hyrule Historia oh, yes. for um, for Christmas a couple of years ago. And I was reading it because... It, like the chronologic the storyline confused me and then it then it uh, actually breaks it down. Yeah, that's where the first like official <coughs> Zelda timeline appeared and it is nuts. And yes, yeah, Skyward Sword is the very first, is the earliest. So you've got like three or four games that follow a timeline and then See, and then Ocarina kind of follows the main one and then it's what happens if Ganon wins yeah. or because obviously what Oca- happens if Link dies or Because in Ocarina obviously you've got the two worlds. You've got the young Link time and then you've got the adult Link time. But technically if you beat the game adult Link time doesn't exist. Yeah, but but because that does exist in the context of the game that is a timeline that happens within the universe. Yes. So you can like you can always assume that in that timeline because that timeline ceases to exist once you're victorious in as long as that timeline exists Ganon wins. Mm. And therefore um <clears throat> therefore there's a, there's that whole thing about there's a series of games that come across after that um you know in that circumstance that was a very roundabout way of just doing this oh, oh fuck, fuck off. off where are we just, uh, oh just there above. we are yeah i'm not not far away now um down we go yep oh swing into the rescue look move. at me i'm where? like like kurt russell that was very unhelpful camera angle thank you Come on, let's get out of here now, Yoda. I remembered her name earlier because I've noticed that a lot of things I've been playing, or at least I've enjoyed, have got like a, a Y name thing, like Yorda in this, Yorha in Near Automata, and of course Yona in Near One. <laughs> a lot of Y-O things with an A at the end, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I've never played Skyward Sword. I've heard it's absolutely abysmal. Um, but I've never played it, so maybe one day. And uh, Breath of the Wild is obviously taking the world by storm right now. From what I've seen of the Breath of the Wild, it looks really... Ooh, new one. Um, it looks really pretty, but unfortunately the guys who I'm watching play it, um, they're not taking it seriously, which kind of sucks. Um... Because if I'm watching an LP, I don't mind, you know, comedy in their commentary, but I'm watching the game for context, for story, for playthrough. Okay. You know, I don't <laughs> mind the odd, oh, uh, we fucked up because we're idiots kind of thing. But like what we do. Like what we do. All the time. All the time. Constantly, whenever I'm playing. Yeah, but I bossed Tomby. No, I didn't. <laughs> Fucking suck at Tomby. Nah, uh, you beat Tomby, that's all that matters. You beat Tommy. You did Phoenix Mountain. I don't think I could have done it if you hadn't have done Phoenix Mountain for me. Yeah, but I mean, like, ultimately, you were the one who would, who finished the game. So. I mean, my, as far as I'm concerned, that means you beat Tommy. Like, I beat it twice whilst we were playing it, so I know I've beaten it, and I beat it before, but it's like. As far as those videos are concerned, that was you. <laughs> With the exception of a couple of times when I took over, but that's just. That's just getting you through the, the tough patch kind of situations. Um, I think we've forgotten what we were actually talking about. Zelda. Wow, this is high. Yup. Kinda makes me nervous. Deep down in the tingly nether regions. Uh, Do you reckon she can climb ladders? I believe we have seen that she can. There is a ladder back there, but there's also a door here, so... Question becomes Oh, there's also a ladder there. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to go and have a look at this first, and then I'll run over and check out that other ladder afterwards. So, this does look like some pretty hardcore progress. Hello, big uh, round thing. Looks like something we'll come back to at like, a much yeah, later date. Like we'll, ah, we'll get to it. Fair enough, that happened. I think she was going, Oh, God. You're okay. Okay, that's fine. Whoever you are. <laughs> um, Zelda. Oh, you've never seen her open the door like this before. <clears throat> oh, she's gone. Well, she, she did not to give a here. fuck. No, I think she does give a fuck, and that's why she's gone. She wants to see whatever's in here. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
a sword. Well, that'd be so useful right now. I have to do with a sword. Yeah, we don't want a stick anymore. The sword would be good. Oh, is it Breath of the Wild? So, um... Are those replacement sticks? Yes, because I imagine that at some point I might accidentally throw this thing or something like that. Alright, we're not an axe. Yeah. Shout out to the best friends. <laughs> Save sofa, sofa, sofa. Oh, is it? I was not paying attention. I don't think I can get there yet because she's... Oh, let's see if she can climb the ladder. Don't she see? can indeed she can. climb the ladder. Yeah, I'm sure she's done that before and we've just forgotten, but whatever. Okay, I'll stop chatting. Now look. Oh, fuck off, really? Yes, let me see. I think we missed a bit. Probably, as I said, I didn't go up that ladder in the other area, but now we're in here and it's all closed and shit's going down and stuff, so. So I'm sure we'll come back to it. Yes. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. So, um, my, my, like, I, I've not obviously played it myself. In fact, the only time I've ever seen footage of it besides, like, the E3 footage was in. Are you watching the Game Grumps play it? No, I haven't. Because, again, it's one of those games that I'd like to play at some point, and whenever, when it comes to games that I want to play, I don't tend to watch LPs of them right. until I've played them. Oh, okay. Like, for example, um, I, I know, I was just doing it to call it out. Because, like, um, when I was playing Ultra Despair Girls, like, I really wanted to watch the best friends play it from that. But I thought, no, I'm going to finish Ultra Despair Girls first, or at least get, like, three quarters of the way through it so that I'm not going to see any overlap. Yeah, and, uh, and nothing's going to get spoiled for me so uh, that's what I tend to do it's like if I care about a game I won't watch anything of it or you know I tend to I'm one of those people who loves who uh, hate spoilers <laughs> what 3 hours and 59 seconds yep yeah I, I absolutely hate spoilers I love being able to enjoy a thing which is why like just as a s slight aside like my if I could have any superpower. All right. My third choice would be the ability to be able to uh, isolate and remove memories so that I could specifically so that I could like um sorry, I was, I was gesticulating which was no, like no, that's, that's that was just explaining to the viewers. Um <laughs> viewer. Uh <laughs> Cassie. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I was explaining to Cassie. I uh, watch our videos. I give them a thumbs up. <laughs> Right. Anyway, anyway, hey, here we go. Yeah, we are um, explorating. I've lost my train of thought again now. Uh, Is that a ladder? Mm, where? Oh, no, it's just the pattern on the wall. Sorry, I thought yeah. this thing might have been a ladder. Okay. Um, yeah, I hate spoilers, and I will generally... If it's something I care about, I will do everything in my power to avoid everything so that I can go in completely fresh. Yeah. Like, Near Automata, I literally watched... The again, like the E3 uh, reveal trailer when they were like, "Hey, we're making new automata," and I lost my fucking shit because I was like, "That's the best news ever." Yeah. And then that was it. I watched nothing else right. because I didn't want any aspect of the game to be spoiled for me. What the hell? Oh, that's the same one. You've gone in a big circle. I was yeah, like, "Wait yeah. a second, is there a sofa on either side?" Um, That'd yeah. Be proper useful for a change, though. Mm -hmm. So many choices of where to sit today. It's not like going to the cinema. Oh, somebody's holding a grudge. Well, I'm just pissed off. Like, I like to go to the cinema on my own. I'm just going to have a, qu a quick gripe here, if you don't mind. No, you, no. I no. like going to the cinema on my own, okay? Because obviously, <clears throat> that's part of. <coughs> excuse me. That's my academic background, and uh, it's just something that I've always been into, so. From time to time, I just like to take a trip out to the cinema, just buy a ticket for the next film that's going to be on and just seeing what's what and the <laughs> fact that cinemas over here or at least the ones i tend to go to won't allow me oh fuck <laughs> won't allow me to take she it. was clever enough to not follow you down there yeah yeah that was, that was is helpful. there anything on this level there's got to be something well, this is where i've been going so i'm just sort of still exploring and ranting um yeah so the fact that they won't allow me to choose a seat on my own is very upsetting because as i said to you like a couple of weeks ago yeah, like a couple of weeks ago, I went to go and see Get Out, and that film was amazing. But I was on my own, and the cinema was mostly empty. There was like maybe twenty people in there, all told. And <coughs> buying a ticket for myself, I was like, "Oh, I'll choose these seats, this seat here, because this is the seat I want to I want to sit in." Because I am one of those people who 
has to choose a specific seat because I care about shit. And, um, oh yeah, there's that sword. I've been forgotten. If we can get it. I'm sure and it does. wouldn't allow me to choose the seat because I had, it said that I had to, s I wasn't allowed to leave a gap on either side of me. I had to choose a seat next to someone else. Which, by the way, is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, like, considering how empty the cinema was anyway, like, what Did happens... Did you change seats as a result? No, I just... Yeah. Fortunately, there was actually a seat next to two other people that I actually wanted to go in. Like, it was within my range of accepting seats for when I'm in the cinema. Right. And uh, I ended up choosing that one. But the fact that it wouldn't allow me to choose the one I wanted specifically... Like, if I'm just going to the cinema on my own and I'm, like, one of three people in there, like, are they going to make me sit next to those two people? Yeah. Like, there's no one else there. Why would I... So, how creepy is that? So you're... Imagine, <laughs> imagine you go to the cinema with your girlfriend and one other person appears to the film and it's like they sit right next, next to, you to you in yeah. a massive... Em in an empty room of, like, 80 seats. Yeah. Of all the seats, they have to <coughs> sit next to you. Like, that's fucking uh, creepy. Sp speaking of three people in the cinema, do you, uh, have you ever heard of the film Wild Hogs? Yes. I've never seen it and I right. have no interest in it, but yeah, I do know what... what I is. went to the cinema to see it. I thought it was... Okay. I, it was a Sunday afternoon... Me and my brothers were bored. Oh, fair enough. And I said, fuck it, let's go to the cinema. It's got Woody... Um, fuck, what's his name? John Woody, Travolta. John Travolta. Um, Woody Harrelson. Woody... Ha no, not yeah. Woody Harrelson. Woody Allen. Woody, a Woody Allen was in it, wasn't he? Play the guy who voices Buzz Lightyear. Oh, you, Tim Allen. Tim Allen, sorry. I was going to say, I was going to um, It's got Martin Lawrence in it. And the fourth guy whose name I can never remember. So <laughs> the most important of all, <laughs> we go to um, uh, one of our local cinemas. So we went to Colford. Mm. So shout out to Studio Colford, and they they they, they were playing this show. It was like a two o'clock show on a Sunday afternoon. Me and my brothers were the only three people in there, mm -hmm. and the the person who sits in the the uh, employee who sits and watches the film with you. Uh, so, Kieran, uh, my, my, my brothers, oops, nearly name dropped. My brothers are running around like headless chickens, like, oh, let's sit here. And like, oh, there's a door. It is a door. It is a door. <laughs> I did um, not notice. See if she'll follow you. See if she'll follow you now. Um, I don't think she's following you. No, I think I have a feeling it's on you. Yeah. I just wanted to have a quick look. Ooh. Oh hello! Okay, this room what is. What the? Oh, it's round. Still. Which will not fall down there. So yeah, so you and your brothers were running around. Yeah, yeah, around. We, we. No, they were running around. I was quite content, sat in my seat. Running it's around. It's like. Oh, we were the only three people in there. Running yeah. around. But I, but but I understand what you mean. I I mean I'm not an advocate of going to the cinema. Alone anyway. I prefer to go with somebody that way I've got somebody to talk about the film with oh I've got a good story about that actually <laughs> um, afterwards when you're done <laughs> but um, yeah it is I, I mean I don't like going to Cine World or uh, what's another name of the big view. cinema or yeah or the view cinemas the showcase the showcase because they are just ridiculously priced for what they are oh absolutely I mean tickets, I, cinema tickets are ridiculous like I'm not paying £10 for a ticket after peak time no peak time is during peak time yeah during peak time so that's any anything after i think about half past six in the evening is considered peak time and right, you're paying 10 pound a ticket and any time on the weekend really as well i think or any time on the weekend and you're just paying this absurd amount of money for the same film that i could see at the the palace cinema in cinderford for two pain <laughs> 50 which is named dropping both cinemas now yeah <laughs> i bit my tongue in it hurt 350 on the weekend. I don't mind paying 350. Yeah, pretty good. But a group of four of you could go to the cinema and spend 20 quid, and that would get you all tickets, all a drink, all popcorn or sweets, and you're watching the same film. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's true. I right? <laughs> see my obviously I've got a slightly different sort of view on it nowadays because obviously again from my uh, my background, my academic background and everything, I like to support things that I like to support um, like the creators and the content that I that I enjoy so of course I'm happy to to spend 10 pounds on a film I'm going to enjoy like say uh -oh. get out was I would have 
like, now that I look back on how good Get Out was, I'd actually have been willing to buy two tickets just so I could have sat on my own. And I would have felt like I hadn't wasted my money. But that's, I... in fairness, that is quite an exception because there aren't that many good films these days. I mean, there are. It's, it, we're getting back into a renaissance where uh, there are good films, but... Mm. Um, that, that is, I didn't go in there expecting that to be the case. Like I jokingly said to myself, maybe I will, but like, oh shit! If I were to go again, I didn't even realize she'd been carried off. Yeah, that's why I was doing stuff. Like, if I were to go again, which I probably will, then I'd be happy just to buy two tickets and just have the seat to myself. Cause mm. fuck it. Um, but yeah, like one fun story uh, in regards to. You say you like going to have someone going with people, so you've got someone mm. to talk to. Like, I totally agree with that. Like, that's why I'm doing things like, you know, going going out with uh, John and all that lot to go and see those films that we're going to go see because yes. specifically because we want to talk about them. Um, and I'm always down for a good discussion about a film. Um, again, because of my background. And uh, I remember. 2015. Get up, you horned bastard! It was 2015, wasn't it, that um, Ant-Man and Terminator Genesis and all that like, came out, wasn't it? I th- yeah, pretty sure it was Yeah, it was 2015, yeah, because um, I was in London at the time at LFCC with some, with my friends from up north. Oh, yeah. And they had booked tickets to go to the theatre, which is obviously fair because, you know, they're a couple and they want to go to the theatre. Yeah, why not? That. And I didn't feel like going with them, when, even though they offered. <laughs> they invited me along. I was like, no, I don't really feel like it. You guys go and do your date thing. I happened to find this really cool small cinema, like 10 minutes walk away from my hotel. So I decided to stop off there and just go and watch a movie while I, you know, while I was on my own. While you waited, yeah. And I decided to go and see Terminator Genesis. Any good? It's uh, like with my uh, Jurassic World thing, it's not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination, but I enjoyed it. Right. That's why I bought it. Like, again, if a film's on my shelf that I haven't, that hasn't been bought for me, the only reason it's there is because I like it. And right. Okay. That's why my sh- my collection is quite small because it's it's hard to find those films that I really really like. But anyway, I was um, obviously I was waiting for this film to go, and I was quite clearly just stood there on my own. And uh, this woman and her child sort of wandered by. They were also going to go and see Terminator Genesis, and they weren't entirely sure where they were going to be, where the, where where which screen it was in. Oh yeah. So obviously they just casually ask, you know, is, is it here? And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, because that's what the ticket says and all that stuff. So uh, I'm like, okay, fair enough. Far away. I'm just, I heard a thing, John. I wanted to check the other door, see whether that sword's free yet. And uh, it's not reading ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Sorry, it's one of those games <laughs> where I feel that if we don't read ahead every so often... We... Well, you feel free to re- read ahead when I speak. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah, I mean... So, um, obviously, they, they went in, they watched the film and everything. Yeah. And uh, after it was done, I went outside for a cigarette, and uh, I ran into them again. And they were like, oh, what did you think? Well, the, the woman was like, what do you think, the mother? Mm. And the pair of us ended up having a pretty good long discussion about it, just in the, in the outside this uh, cinema while her son looked bored and tired. Uh, poor child. But yeah, so like, I'm always I'm happy to discuss it with people if, if they're around and they feel like having a chat. Like I do, as I, said, I do like doing that, but it's just fun. Sometimes you never know who you're gonna come across. And which is so, what's the movie that your uh, lecturer hated? That Jurassic you Park. <laughs> she hates. She hates uh, Jurassic the, Park. The, the first one. The first one. 